that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, oh, As we've discovered, particularly on the pay-per-view, the Tony Khan character is a complete maniac. Tony Khan character. Tony Khan is a complete maniac. Tony Khan is a complete maniac. So the pay-per-view opens with a recap of the angle. Explain to fans, we don't know what's going on with the main event right now. What a way to start a show. Yeah. We don't know if the main event you just pay to see is going to happen or not. That $49.99 you just plopped down, well... Thanks. This Tony Khan character states that if MJF is unable to comp compete tonight, Adam Cole, you can replace him leg or no leg. What? So this, of course, makes no sense on any level. So you're telling me that a guy has a bad leg and he's not allowed to wrestle, but he can be replaced by another guy with a bad leg? That is exactly what they said. Is it possible this Tony Khan character is the devil? I thought Tony Khan may be turning heel. That thought crossed my is mind. Is he just like turning into crazy flair in late 90s? Well, Swerve and Hangman wrestled a match. Good lord. I think that the Lucha Underground Hell of War match between AR Fox and Killshot, which was Swerve under a mask, was slightly bloodier than this? I don't know, dude. It did have a chunk of a man's back It did have there. a chunk of back, but I, I'm pretty sure that but there this was a, is uh, the new most violent match in the history of Major League Professional Wrestling in this country. The waterfall of blood poured from his head. Yeah. He went under the faucet and drank it. That also happened. Bro. <laughs> What the fuck? So many absolutely disturbing things that uh, I'm not going to let my kid watch this. I, he's 17, and I am not going to let him watch this. I'm an adult. I love this shit. I thought okay. this was awesome. Okay. <laughs> I thought every part of this. I, I am also a sick fuck, apparently. You know, I, I, I don't want to encourage this sort of thing. But you know what? My star rating makes no difference. People are going to do crazy shit or they're not. I mean, this was a five-star match. You know how many times Dean Ambrose stole ambulances in WWE? Like a dozen times, okay? Every single time it was stupid. Every complaint I heard about this show, everyone was about the angle and the idea that Adam Cole was allowed to replace MJF. That's every complaint we had about this show. If they hadn't done that and just injured the guy and had him valiantly fight in the main event, there would have been no complaints. Zero. None. But that's what they did. Which Thanksgiving food that everyone seems to love do you hate and why? Oh, ham. I think it tastes terrible. Hmm. You know, it tastes like a pig. You know, you're right. Who would eat that? Thanksgiving food in general, I'm not, not a huge fan of. Green bean casseroles. Oh, horrible. Oh, yes. Absolutely Bad. atrocious. Hmm. Bad. I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes. I could pass on them. Yams, yeah, all that stuff. Yams? Who would eat a yam? I, lots, mm. lots of people. I would take a ham and yam plate. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Vinny's... Brian, I'm getting a steady. Excuse me, Granny. She's getting Oops. ecstatic. Granny gone. Do you hear me, Granny? I'm, gu I'm guessing that's a no, Brian. It's probably no, not. No, don't get nothing. Okay, there we go. Now you're back. Bad. No. Why is Granny not hearing us? I just... I get no sound. <laughs> We're going to try to reconnect you. She can't read lips, Brian. Actually, she's pretty good at it. We're going to reconnect you. All right, Granny? Can you hear me? You can't hear me. Everyone, stand by. We're going to try this one time so we can get Granny's report. Okay, we're back, everybody. Everything's going fine. <laughs> God. What is she doing now? I don't know. I can't hear you. Granny, put the phone up to your ear. The telephone. Hello? Hey. Yes. You're I not... thought we were back. No, we're not going to hear you through the headphones, Granny. Bomber. Okay. <laughs> all we want is for you to just do your reports. Let's just get them over with. Do you want me to do all my stuff with my phone? Yes, please. Oh, no. The alternative is I can go get her and bring her here. You, you want to just do the memoirs? Please. <laughs> okay. Ch 
chapter 11, then Undertaker walks on the rope and jumps 20 feet high to Excuse land me. on Brett. <laughs> he was quite an athlete. You he know. jumped 20 feet in the air? I and jaw lock on Brett. Brett gets in a <laughs> few punches on Undertaker's bread basket, but doesn't phase him. Are you just the copying un- whatever Vince said? No. And then he puts his red broom between his legs. He begins chasing Sherry. And Vince McMahon has to make sure to tell us, like a witch, on that broom. Because, well, that... in fact, that is not what it looked like. <laughs> no. At all. Not everybody in the tournament was going to wrestle on week one. And as a result of that, I think they should have had someone else wrestle this week instead of Swerve. Because I think that he should have taken a week off. Like selling the injuries yeah, from yeah, that match. Yes. The occasional MJF good promo segment that goes way too long. Occasional. I was going to say weekly. It's not quite weekly. They're common. Adam Cole knows they are still Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions thanks to Samoa Joe. But the fact is, he is not close to being ready to wrestle again. And that was the first time this whole storyline really made me mad. Because four days ago, you were ready to wrestle the main event. And now you're saying you're not ready. Well, he wasn't ready. I know. But he offered. And this maniac Tony Khan said, sure! Sure! This is like the most unsafe working environment you've ever been. Yes. And I couldn't help but note here that MJF is trying to get out of this match with Joe that he doesn't want. And who should talk him into this dangerous, horrible match but his best friend, Adam Cole? They've certainly planted more than enough seeds to let you know that he's trying to screw his alleged best friend here. 2.0 and Jake Hager. And that fucking beard. The beard is... is, uh, Can we do something about that thing? Make it shaggier. MGF made some comment about my beard. He said it looked like I had pubes glued to my face. Where was that? I remember it happening. I yeah, don't... this motherfucker. And then my wife heard it, and she just got that look on her face, and then... Realized he was right? She knew he was not wrong. Yeah. And so I very, very quickly groomed. When I see you, I see myself. You are the prodigy, Nick Wayne. That's his new name. <laughs> Which was his old name. Which was his old name. Yeah. Which made me really sad because I thought for sure they were going to rename him Nick Cage. <laughs> I think that name is taken. <laughs> it's too bad. Man, when she was sitting there in that corner and she was so mad at Edge for giving her son a concerto, I was like, my God, is she going to join the of patriarchy? Course she is. Of course she is. We have not mentioned or talked about her much. She has been fantastic. Yeah. The entire time. Yes. So, yeah, that, keep using her. She's doing a great job. It is time for the Tony Storm Championship Acceptance Speech. They're reading out the winner of this award, and the new champion is, in fact, announces Tony Storm, who is in the audience, acting very surprised. She thanks Anthony Kahn and the wonderful people at Warner Discovery, especially Jack Warner. This is my spot, she says. You will not take it. You will not make it. Stay in school. Maybe learn a trade. I love and- this so much. Mark Briscoe versus John Moxley. God damn, I'm so mad I missed seven minutes of this match. I hear it was awesome. It was a hell of a match. But I will say that uh, YouTube TV, about 24, 48 hours later, they if you if you have the show recorded, they'll they'll uh, re-upload the entire show. So I can go tonight yeah. and watch the end of this match. But a lot of good that did me yesterday. Right, right. And they go to their favorite restaurant, and there's a mob surprise party going on. Tony's like, he's standing up. And uh, the mob goes, hey! And Tony goes, <laughs> he reached for his side piece. I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I died. <laughs> and he sees who it is. And, ah, oh, hey, everybody, man. what's going on? And, uh, that I don't wa- got to kill nobody. I think Briggs is going to hook up with Tiffany, split away from this virgin and this terrible Fallon character. Josh Briggs just beat one of the biggest stars in the history of this promotion. She doesn't give two shits about her friend. I'm sorry. She snaps. <laughs> she barks. What was that? What did Tiffany want? I hate her. 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 Jesus. God. It's Thanksgiving, dude. Been held in London for 24 hours. She's not even dating them. 
She's building up fences when they're not even dating. Why must you cock block all of your friends? What is wrong with you? Is this her gimmick? She's, she's a pro celibacy advocate and they don't want to say that because they don't want to get booed? Yeah, I don't understand any of this. All I know is I hate her. And I said a second ago that I've been holding that in for 24 hours. That's a lie. I just did the exact same thing 24 hours ago, only it was much louder then. She's awful. What? Awful. Anyway, match was great. And it's time for my dinner with Mr. Stone. The hatred for this segment. Those were legitimately Mr. Stone's kids. Yes. And I never doubted that. I was told that what happened was when they went to film everything, it's like they did not do a lot of takes. And so, like, everything these kids did, it was like they just went with it. These kids were just being wild. It's 24-7 with Ilya oh, Dragunov. Oh, my God, this was great. The man narrating this was Baron Corbin. And it appears that he is putting this man over. Yeah. Such a hard worker, such sacrifices, such a lonely existence to be the best and provide for his family. And then they cut to Baron, and he explains, I'm rich! This week's show also was not all that great. And last week's show was not great at all. And these were both taped on the same day. Hmm. So I'm hoping that uh, that next week is, is uh, back to the usual... High quality yes. standards I expect from NXT. 